Hello everybody, welcome back to Stoneheart, me Banto, so we're back here in my town, Tortuga. So today we're gonna start with building the storage house we made in the previous episode, so we're gonna start with the building this. And we do need a little bit more wood to finish this house, so we're gonna put our harvesting to be gathering a little bit more of wood and perhaps a little bit more stone as well. And I do think we should go with our blacksmith and actually start forging some better stuff. We do have a blacksmith up, but we haven't really forged it that much. I want to see what weapons we have for our troops for the moment. We got Banto here, we're gonna check him out first and we're gonna go to equipment. We got a guy in bone mace, iron mace, an iron mace, an iron mace. So that's what we have and I think that the blood defender, our cleric, do have the basic stuff. No like headgear or anything added so we're gonna try to craft some of that. Let's go and see if we can actually do something. I wanted to make this um, Iron spears and iron pikes and the only one iron each I'm gonna make Let's make four of those. They're really good to see 20 damage. They are two-handed weapons That means that our footmen will no longer wield shields, but our footmen are not supposed to be tanks anyway So it shouldn't really be any problem I would say So Let's see if maybe we have some more ores we want to melt. We do have some copper So let's do a little bit more of copper ingots it's gonna be nice. Seems like we already got one iron pike done. That's really that's really really nice. That was really really quick quick of them. So we're building here. As you can see, there's a lot of slowdowns. So to my experience, when building down in the water, you get these like slowdowns, and it's just the way that it is for the game for the moment. So hopefully in the future we're gonna see some improvement to that for the game. But let's head out, and we're gonna gather some more wood out here in the archipelago. So, get some fruit first maybe, and this one is one we maybe want to chop down. These are big ones, they do give a good amount of wood, so I want to go and grab this tree. Would it be cool if we had more seeds, like we do have so we grow in saplings for palm trees, but it would be cool to have saplings for some other trees, for example this adrenaline tree, but we do have the normal oak, which we can also grow if we would decide to do so. So that will give a little bit more wood, but we need even more, so we're gonna go pretty far out and get this. I'm probably also gonna loot this, the goblin had this before. And I'm gonna try now, once we see like, you know, a lot of camps around the map and so on, when I find them, I'm gonna go there, try to take them out, because I think if we do that really quick, we will actually reduce the amount of attacks by really, really much. I hope this is not gonna be a problem here, sometimes when you be like close to like an edge of like a mountain or a hill or something, you can run into some problems. Hopefully we're not gonna do that with the storage house. I did however when I made this yesterday, when I was done with this, I remembered like, oh I was supposed to do something here. So the idea with this would be to have some goods stored here and I think we might kinda do the same. So we're gonna start with doing that. I'm gonna make some little pillars here holding this up. Maybe we should go pretty, pretty bright with those. At least decently. This one might work. Maybe a little bit too dark. Maybe that color is better. Let's go for that color for it. We're gonna go up a little bit like this and then we can add a few more. I was even thinking before like maybe we could have like a little market under this. But then I think we're gonna have the market over here next to this house. And this is where I'm thinking of having a marketplace for us. So decently sized, some market stalls and stuff, and I think that's gonna be nice, uh, close to the docks and everything. So I think that's gonna turn out pretty good, I hope so. So now I wanna make some uh, changes to the roof here, so I'm gonna do something like this and we can see how good this will look. And then I think we will go and remove something like that and then the roof will go it's kind of like sloping up on it gonna try that way so do we do a roof over here between these and I'm not sure if I want to have it in like a red color kind of suits in you know with the rest of the house and maybe we should go red with it what we could do here is to add another one which is really easy now when I added a roof to this One last one above here. Then I was thinking of having some goods here. This is not done yet though, so do not worry too much. And maybe we can see if we can actually perhaps use the fence. I think we have to craft the fence to use it in buildings. 
So there's like this trick that you can do with the game. You can do it with everything that you craft pretty much. You just have to have the thing you want to put out. You gotta have it crafted and uh, then I'm gonna show you pretty soon how you're doing it. So I'm gonna move some fences to the very top here and we might need some different variation of this. And we definitely need a lot of wood. I only had one wooden block as you can see here. So we're really low on wood. Bill Maloon is a carpet level 6. Congrats, man. So perhaps we're gonna add some single posts. We're just gonna craft a few of them. We only need like one of each really because we're gonna use them for design in the building so later on we're gonna craft the amount that we actually need. So we could put these for maintain if we want to. I'm not gonna do it for now so for just for now I'm gonna go and just craft like one of each or something like that so like that and make a few more of the original one though. It's gonna be pretty good. So this one was said uh, end post. Not sure if we need any more. We could go for like the extender pieces. Maybe they could look good with it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go for what I'm going for for the moment. So let's go and see if we can grab a little bit more wood. I think our people are quite busy. So maybe we should change a few people to do different tasks in the town. So everyone is pretty much doing everything except for this person. He's only doing mining, which I don't think they have really any mining to do. So this person doing mine, they're gonna do a hole also, maybe a job also, but not building. Gonna do something like that for, let's go for three people. Maybe even four people. Because the builders, their people are, are building. They will actually be building faster because these guys are collecting resources for the builders. So it all goes together in a good harmony, I would say. So people are going to go out shop trees and they're not going to be busy with only building. I think we might need another ladder to get down here. That should be good enough. We have loads of tree here, so I think we should go up to the very top here and gather a little bit of wood here as well. There's a lot of trees here. I'm going to go for these big ones first. One small one, you have to go, man. And we should try to get like a cook soon. And we really need more beds, like one of you guys said. We need to get beds for the people that will feel better living here when they have their own bed which is you know pretty obvious if you have your own bed you're gonna feel better than you're sleeping outside i'm gonna chop these trees down because those are gonna be in the way while we're gonna build stuff so let's see if we have fences the way i do this is i press uh, the p for placement or you could go down to this one I click the house here and then I go for the little share and then I go in here and then you can place things and add them to a template so i'm just turning them around I'm not sure how this is going to work, what's going to happen if this is inside of that wall. But we could do stuff like that and perhaps put one a different piece in the middle. But I think we're going to use different pieces, not these ones for this thing. These might work perhaps better here and then we have one end piece maybe at each of these side. We just want those single things. I'm going to go in and change all We're not going to craft all of these. We're gonna need them later on, but for now I just wanna make sure so we have all these pieces ready pretty much. So let's see maybe if we can um, make a uh, cook spoon. I'm not sure if we have one, I'm gonna make one. We have a lot of stones and that shouldn't be a big problem for us. That should be good. And the mace and the carpentry actually, they do help without the, with the building. But it's not busy with crafting, it actually helps with buildings, so that's pretty good. So let's gather a little bit of water from our wells that we have. This one's still bugged, it's, it's bugged pretty often with the moving as well, so... I'm gonna write to the person that did this and the mod, and hopefully we can see something sold for it. It might already be fixed though, because I do update some mods pretty frequent. It looks really beautiful here in the harbor, I like all these lights, it looks so nice. And look at the ship by the way, this is how the ship looks at night. It looks so beautiful and we're definitely gonna make more ships and you guys gonna be able to see you when we're making a big large ship later on. And I do have an ID for a new house which is gonna be pretty amazing. I'm not gonna share the, the ID for it for now because I want you to see it and like it once I do it. Okay, let's check out the blacksmith now. I wanna see how it's going on here. We do have the iron pikes and do we have helmets? I'm not sure if we have helmets. Do we have any headgear for my people? We do have some basic uh, cloth headgear, so we definitely want to make some better protection for our people. So we do have an option for an iron helmet, and we also have the bronze one. I guess we can make three bronze and we make one iron. That should be good. Move them to the top so they make those first. 
Another thing we want to get soon is a night shield, which means that we need to get more iron because we're using all iron left for the iron helmet. And knights are really useful. We need them for tanking and taking care of uh, strong enemies so they can withstand all that threat and damage from those big ogres and stuff and kobolds. So we do have some iron over there. It's pretty far away. This is silver. I think that's the closest iron we have over there, perhaps, if we don't have one maybe secretly up here. I think we have to go for the iron over there. We could. What we could do is to... It would be a big task, though. It would be to dig from what we already dug here. Just keep going all the way over until we reach this spot and we will be going through the mountain while we're doing things, but I think that's a little bit overkill. So I think it would be better if we just... Um, Put a ladder here, another one here, and we could dig down if we want to also, but digging down, I don't think I would like that. Do we have even more iron here, so we could maybe dig here. Let's try to dig down here, even though I don't really like doing it this way. I'm gonna dig in a big chunk here. We should be able to go up here since we have to chop down those trees over there. But see, this is a pretty, pretty long travel for our people to do. Oh, we got some ogres and kobolds coming in. I hope we can take them out. We do not have a tank, like I said before. So we're gonna see how that's gonna work out. We're gonna bring all my troops over here. We do not have so good equipment. At least we have this, the iron spears, which is uh, going to help out quite a lot. We only have one healer, so we probably should think about getting a second healer as well if we want to survive this. I think we should take out the archers first. Because they are the, like the main damage dealers. See, like one of our people is going down pretty, pretty low. Can nuke one at a time here. So that's one down. Easier for the healer to keep my people up. What are you trying to do, Mr. Cobaldo? Here we go. Okay, take this guy. This one is a little bit stronger, I think. They're really trying to nuke down. Who is this? Who are they nuking? They give and they're nuking you down, man. So there we go, take him out. Maybe we should take the ogre now. Maybe we should take the kobold. Uh, let's go for the ogre. Let's go for the big guy. Okay, just one kobold left and we beat this battle. But as you can see, we definitely need a knight. The good thing is when you have a knight is that they can withstand a lot of damage, but you also keep in the aggro, which means that the cleric will have the focus on healing one person instead of healing four different footmans, which... Uh, it's a lot safer to my experience. So another cleric. Do we have a herbalist going? I don't think we have one. So we need to look for someone since they're gonna be an healer and then a cleric. We need to look for someone that has a really good spirit which is the blue color here. And we also want to have perhaps kind of a good body. You don't, don't need to have it but it would be it would be really awesome to have it. This is also a perfect soldier. Maybe Durgish. Durgish, you're gonna be my second cleric eventually. That's pretty cool that you see the different things to get once to level up. That's pretty awesome. A lot of things in this game is definitely starting to look more like well polished and looking way better. People are building, that's nice to see. And we still have a lot to gather. We already started digging out here, so we got who is this? Hydra Wester. Hydra Wester is digging here. So I'm gonna name this person an unnamed person. So today we're gonna welcome Tofufu. So Tofufu, welcome to our town. I hope you're gonna have a great time together with us. Let's see if we can name this person also, Kami Edessa. I'm gonna name this girl as well. So this is gonna be Zuzi. Here we go, welcome to our town. You get amazing stats, man. <laughs> Six and everything, that's the best you can get, pretty much. What traits did you have? Arts of a crafter, who's love crafting things for others. If they do not make at least one thing a day, they feel the day is wasted. So they like to do crafty stuff, that's nice. I'm gonna add in some random colors here. Because it just makes it look a little bit better sometimes. It does take a lot of extra time, but since they're busy building another house, I feel like maybe we can add in a little bit. When it's just one color, it can look pretty boring at times. It depends on what kind of house it is. And this is actually just for a little stand, stall, whatever to call it. And we can have some stuff down here and... Maybe we should think about uh, doing some boards here, kinda. But I think this is gonna be more random than we have here, so... A little bit more random we're gonna go with this. 
not gonna be as perfect as it's been for the other places. So maybe then you can imagine that they had repaired, so they turned a few of these boards at the different side, and they was uh, doing some repairing. So something like that should be pretty nice, and we can add in some here as well, which we maybe make a little bit different. Maybe we change the color here to maybe be the same as we're doing up here, we'll see. So under here, once we got um, the fence here, I want to add some crates and stuff. Let's see the end post, will this look good or not? This will not be super good. I guess it could work with just these, having them, them like that. Would be nice if they were hooked into them, but I think if I do them hooked in like that, they will not be like staying inside, that's the thing with it. So here maybe we do these. And can we put this one here? No. Now that's one a little bit tricky, maybe if we put another one of these, like that. I'm gonna do like the same thing here. Do something like that, and then under here we're gonna have some crates and stuff, so we're even storing some stuff outside here. We need some smaller ones, I think this was a little bit big perhaps. Maybe someone could even be like trading here, who knows. And let's see what more, let's go for some wooden dresses, a fine one, kinda weird maybe to have here, but maybe they just put it here for now. Just imagine that they put it here and they're gonna... Maybe move it into the storage house later on. I think that's pretty good. We might want to add in something here. Maybe make this further that it goes out like that. I'm not sure if that is good, but we're just gonna try it. Uh, I don't think that looks so good. But perhaps we want to go just one, just one step outside here to have like a little overhang thing. Like that. There we go. I think something like that is pretty good. Got Rufus Garrow who wanna sell some stuff for us. I don't think we need maybe... Let's buy his iron, that would be nice. And we wanna trade these to Wall Mountain Tap Tree, a good amount of gold for those. So that should be good, I think that looks pretty awesome. So I want to extend this later on as well. I don't think we can do it for now though. Let's see what people are doing. I'm gonna harvest a little bit of water. We need more drinks. Should be good. Let's see how they're doing the blacksmith over here. Let's see how the miners are doing over here. So they're doing pretty good. They mined out quite a bit of iron, so that's good. Didn't seem to be in like a big vein, what we can see so far. It maybe already ends there. So perhaps we actually will need to go and dig there for a bit. Like I said, that's really far away, and things you can do with this, which I is really good, but I tend to forget them, is that... For example, you can put large crates here, and then you can just take them and move them back to town later on, and... That way you carry on the 32 items at once, instead of going perhaps 32 times, or probably less, since they can carry more than one item in the inventory. Let's see how do you do it on the wood side. We do have enough wood, that's for sure. We will need more wood... Pretty soon, however, though. I don't think we have any saplings yet, do we? Nope. Maybe we want to put down some trophies in town. To show that we are not afraid of the goblins. I'm gonna put two of them. One on each side there. So I think we're gonna continue here and make some, some paths here. And I think maybe we will be... Digging in here. Maybe we should do that. I think that could look kinda nice. Like we would make like a stair here, for example. That should be, I think that would be a good size for it. So we're gonna do another stair here. I was thinking of doing something which um, maybe it's not a good idea. So I was thinking if we do something like this, for example, and then we do like a board there. Then we keep doing something like that. So maybe we'll do something like that for a stair and perhaps change the colors a little bit, just randomize a bit. Then maybe we can have some things between this, which I'm not sure how they would look. Maybe we we'll go without them. Maybe we do the stair different, maybe we do something like this. So maybe like that, it's a little bit more of an 
standard stair we could change so it goes up. I'm not sure if I want to do it. We can try doing it. Perhaps something like that would be good. Then we're gonna connect it with uh, what we got for the road so far. A little bit of a curvy thing going on here. Maybe we do, do it like that, perhaps. Like that should be nice. We may add in some like random colors like we did before, just to randomize it a little bit, because I think this is a little bit um, too bright for the other parts of the town. I think this is gonna be good. And let's change the color up here just a little bit. There's a little bit of a like brightish thing for it. I think we got a little bit of a mix here between road and not road, but it should be fine. It's not so much, so it would not slow down our people too much. And here, I think we will add something. I'm not sure. The last row we have here, maybe some benches or something. Something we need to decorate there with, at least. I think we need to have some more of these around somewhere. So maybe they will be sitting one at each side, perhaps. Look at that! The house is almost done! Hopefully they can keep up with Banto designing things though. <laughs> That's what happens sometimes. Like you're building so much, but the people are not building like quick enough, so it um a bit of slow down, I would say. So I'm not sure what they're gonna put here because I think if we put a too big building, it's gonna be too close to this. I know one of you guys said in the beginning that it would be cool if we had like a bridge from this down here, that would be awesome, but it's kinda too late for doing that. But that would be been a pretty interesting choice of doing that. So let's see what my people are busy with. I wanna see if I have a spare people for actually maybe help a little bit more with the building parts. Looks like everyone is quite busy. Still have some my oh we can go down here, so we need one more ladder to go down. But you can see in this we have put tons of stuff in that, so we're gonna carry those over to the town. Um, I'm gonna put them fairly close to our storage house so we can easily get them moved into that one later. So it looks like they're pretty much done with the building of the house. That's just some uh, furniture, a lot of large crates, so that's going to take quite a bit of wood. So we might actually already need more wood. Because that wood that you see that are inside the requirement here, that's only for the building itself, it's not for like uh, the crates and stuff, so... That's something we also have to do, so we need to chop down even more trees up here. Maybe we should think about doing... the quest for township. I'm not sure if we can actually do the Valor of Sid yet. Don't think we can, or can we? We can! Oh, let's queue it up then. And before we do that, we have to make this one. So we have to have that one put out, so we can make the Valor of Sid. And then we will meet the Quest for Township, which uh, goes up to level 2 town, which gives you new music, new merchants, and also new buildings, which we're not gonna use, but they look pretty good. Okay, so there we go, the Mason Pedestal. I'm gonna put it next to the other Mason workbench. So there we go, now we should be able to start to craft the Valor of Sid. And it seems like you're on the way to doing that, it's gonna be awesome. Let's see how it's going in with the blacksmith, by the way. We probably should melt some iron, yeah, we should. Do that, and it seems like we already have so we can make an night shield. Maybe we should do it now already, we're getting attacked right this moment. So, Faye given, you're gonna get a really good stat. Faye, you're gonna be my knight defender of our people. Please go and get yourself promoted, and then we're going to battle. Here we go, go fight him. Maybe we can meet up somewhere close to the town. The archer's is gonna be moving closer. I think we might be... Oh, that's the door. I was thinking that was one of our people. Poor little door, getting smashed down. So maybe we can take him out. He's pretty low already. So now we're having a knight. He's gonna take aggro, but at level like zero, he's not that good. But he's gonna get a lot better soon, Fae Given, so... It's gonna be a master tank anytime soon. Let's go grab this dude. 
trying to go, man. Trying to escape to the water. What is saying ain't gonna save you. Would it be nice with some sharks in the water, right? Puniton, bow and tremble. Ogo Bannerman, is he around here? I don't wanna fight Ogo. Gah. I banner goblin of Ogo Skullbanke. When he bested the small sheaves, you bring Ogo's eye upon you. And Ogo's eye know all. You will give tribute, or I will see your end. Ogo who? Soothsayer little, but have big thoughts. Soothsay never wrong. Soothsay say you will give Ogo gold, or Ogo will take it from you. Soothsayer magic, speak with old ones, tell the future. He sees, he sees, red kill falling. You start falling, that star Ogo. This time we pick a winning side. No way. Oh, you say something? No matter, we return soon. Collect all your things, it will be easy for us to move. So they're gonna try to come here and want our resources, but we're not gonna give them anything of that, right? That's our stuff, we're not giving away our work that we've done. So now the work for mostly for this, uh, for the workers to remove the scaffolding, so I think maybe we can build this thing. Don't think that should be a problem, I will give them more work though. This one seems almost done. I hope they're not gonna run into problems with that one, they're kinda halted for the moment though. And we need to get that cook going, so let's see for our farmers who we can promote, maybe to be the cook. Uh, it's gonna be Aru, because he has, uh, or she has the best mind, which is good for crafting. Which is good when you're uh, gonna be a cook, and we need to have a new farmer then. Which is gonna be... The gaming beast is gonna be my farmer, hope you're gonna enjoy providing good food for us. Let's go and we're gonna make some cooking. We need some workbenches, a stone cauldron and a stone mill grinder and the oven. Can wait for later. Let's see how much vegetable we have here. So we wanna maintain this food. I'm gonna put that at 80, which is very, very overkill. And then we're also gonna put uh, several meats to up there and we're also gonna try to maintain that one at 80. Gonna move it to the very top. So the meats too will go first. I think that's a little bit of a better food, if I don't remember that wrong. That should be good for us, and uh, let's see with the workbenches. We need more houses, that's for sure. But uh, I think I'm gonna put these close to the storage house for now, because uh, that's where most of our stuff is gonna be. And later on we'll, we'll of course get some real proper good houses for our people. We do not have enough for that for the moment. So I think the next house we're gonna make is gonna be for people for to... So they have some somewhere to live. Maybe up here we can have a few smaller houses that are houses for people. So they will all get to their own house and later on I think we will move the farm. I'm not sure where we will. Maybe we'll move to the opposite side and have it up here. We will see. So it's a lot of you know, building projects to do this and it's gonna be a lot of thinking to get all this to look good and to look right. Let's see, the cook already cooking some food. Yeah, we're already cooking food. That's so awesome to see. So guys, we have definitely improved, um, we're getting better food now, we get better troops, we get a tank that's tanking in the battles, and the town is grown, we get a new house, and in the next episode we're gonna build some buildings, most likely up here, so people are gonna get their own beds and be happy little halflings. So guys, thanks for watching today's episode with me, Banto, hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to leave a like on the video, it helps me out really, really much. And if you want to watch more with me, Banto, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and hope to see you guys next time. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and take care.